One of America's most prestigious golf clubs has broken down one of its oldest barriers. Augusta National in Augusta, Georgia, home of the Masters Tournament each April, is about to admit the club's first two female members. Augusta's previous policy to allow only male members rocketed to do a national debate during this year's Masters. That's because the CEO of a major television sponsor of the tournament, IBM, is a woman. So what will all this mean? NBC's Jay Gray has more. For eight decades, Augusta National has only opened its gates to male members until today. They liked what they had and didn't want anybody to change it. They wanted to keep it the way it was, and, <clears throat> and they were wrong. But today the club revealed former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice and financier Darla Moore have accepted invitations to be the first two women with permanent lockers at Augusta National. They're admirable people. They've done wonderful things and they will be an asset to that club. In typical Augusta fashion, there was no fanfare. The announcement coming in a written statement from club chairman Billy Payne, which said in part, these accomplished women share our passion for the game of golf, and both are well-known and respected by our membership. It will be a proud moment when we present Condoleezza and Darla their green jackets when the club opens this fall. Observers say the jackets should fit both women just fine. They fit the profile of, of an Augusta member, civic-minded, passion for the game of golf, successful in business. Rice acknowledged the invitation in a written statement, saying, I have visited Augusta National on several occasions and look forward to playing golf, renewing friendships, and forming new ones through this very special opportunity. The renowned club and golf course now perhaps finally mastering what some have said was its only major flaw. Jay Gray, NBC News.